We're here with head men's hockey coach Charlie Berger. I have Charlie, uh, quite the setup we got here on the Fireside Lounge. Like it. Uh, glad to be with you here. Um, you just returned from the Turkey trip with your men's hockey club. Tell us about that trip and what it meant for your program. Well, I think uh, it uh, it meant a lot to, to the guys personally, and in that uh, it was a kind of a non-traditional hockey trip because hockey is pretty much played in, in Europe and Western civilization, and so Turkey's kind of in the Asian minor, and it's between Europe and Asia, obviously. And we were way over in eastern Turkey, about 120 yeah. miles from Iran, if you can picture that in your mind. It, it's a developing hockey program for them, and uh, so we did a lot of clinics and, 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 uh, and played some games with them. And when I, what I'm trying to get at, it was so non-traditional. The language was different, the culture was different, the government was different, the religion was different, and we kind of just dropped into that culture, and it really stretched and impacted the guys individually because it was so different. Well, talk to me about them. What do you take from there as you go into this weekend? You start conference play again. You travel to Winona Friday night to play St. Mary's for a home-and-home -home series. Just what is the mindset of the guys as they continue to go through with the MIAC schedule? Well, I think, you know, we talked to them yesterday. They're ready to play. They know the importance of league play. Uh, it's always an education process for the rookies to understand that uh, every game is a playoff game. And I characterize the, uh, the, the Mayak season like the NHL playoffs stretched over a number of months because every, every game is big. Last year, I think it was uh, one series to go or something like that. There were two points between the second place team and the seventh or eighth place team. They just yeah. jammed up. The Mayak is competitive in all sports, and hockey's not an exception. Well, one thing we've noticed is you've got a couple players like Mitch Hughes and Garrett Wendell. They've really stepped up as of late, I think, seven goals in the last five games each. Who are you looking for to take that leadership role down the stretch here as you make a push for the postseason? Yeah, good question, Jared. I mean, we look for leadership, obviously, from every guy uh, on the team in specific roles that they have. I mean, one guy you didn't mention, and I could name them all. But T.J. Christensen's another rookie. He's six foot three. He's a lumberjack in the summer, and he's a pretty strong guy. He can tag guys within the rules and hit them pretty hard, and it changes the momentum of the game because all of a sudden they're looking to see if number 16 is out on the ice. And there's other guys that play a strong defensive checking game that is as important uh, as a goal scorer because guys who play defensively uh, stop goals. The only thing they don't do is it doesn't go up on the board and they don't announce that so-and-so stopped the goal. The guy who scores the goal is important, obviously, but they will stop the game, celebrate, and announce that. And so we like to uh, celebrate everybody's role, yeah. and we need everybody because the games are so close. Well, we'll look forward to this weekend. Glad to hear your trip to Turkey went so well, and uh, we're hoping to see some, some good execution down the stretch. I hope so. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.